and all of a sudden, fam. What's going on, everybody? I really feel like I need more energy than that. What's going on, everybody? Guess what we got today, y'all? Yeah, we got a story time. So I'm gonna tell the story of when my best friend and I got lost in the Gulf of Mexico, stranded on a sandbar, and my best friend almost got eaten by a bull shark. Stay tuned. Let's tell this story, okay? This was around 2006, 2007. I remember going into my junior year of high school. And during that time, uh, not even during that time, but years prior, I used to always go with my best friend at the time. He's still my best friend, he's my boy. Um, but we used to go to a place, if you're, if you're from Florida, you know about Indian Rocks Beach. If you're not from Florida, it, there's a big strip of beaches over in St. Petersburg, kind of, you know, out that way. Madeira Beach, Reddington, Indian Rocks, Indian Shores, St. Pete Beach, all that stuff is just kind of connected, right? So my best friend's parents were retired at the time and they, at the time they retired. What? They like to go have adventures. They used to, they bought, they have jet skis. They had a boat. We used to go tubing sometimes. We used to do all kinds of fun shit. And as a 15 slash 16 year old male, yeah, let's run it. We gonna do it, okay? So, this fateful year, we went to Indian Rocks Beach. We used to always stay at a specific condo. I, and God, I love that place. That was, that, I used to look forward to every summer just cause I wanted to go do that with my boy. And we used to just have a blast. This fateful year, we ended up meeting some really cool people um, from Ohio, right? And we hit it off with them. And we used to, we spent almost every day of that summer with these people. Well, actually, they weren't from Ohio. Long story short, they were from New York and these people were from Ohio. And we'll tell the story about how all this shit kind of ended up boiling and, and doing some dumb shit. So the, the, the ones from New York were these girls with a couple of dudes. It was just a group from, from Horseheads, New York. And then there was another crew that we really didn't get too, along with too much and they were some dudes. Anyway, long story short, we, uh, this fateful day, we couldn't get a hold of anybody and we decided, hey, we're going on the jet skis. We're gonna go on the jet skis and we're gonna do our thing, right? Um, so his parents, my friend's parents took one, they had two sets, they had a red and black jet ski. First of all, if you know anything about me, I love the Atlanta Falcons, unfortunately. Um, but most of my stuff is red and black. If you look around the room, red and black, right? This tripod that I got, red and black. My camera itself, red and black. Just uh, th everything, red and, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's my color scheme. So that's just hint one of which jet ski we wanted to ride. Then there was a, like a, like, it looked like it was from the 80s. Y'all remember the cup? I'm gonna try to post a picture of it here, but y'all know what cup I'm talking about if you're around my age, right? It had like the blue fucking, it, it had the it was blue that jet ski looked kind of like that it was white and it had that weird design it had a blue bottom blue and purplish colored bottom and it was older it was still a jet ski though right so it is what it is right so we're looking at the two jet skis and we wanted to go on the fucking red and black one right but his parents were like we bought it we're going on and we're like so whatever beggars can't be choosers so we get the white jet ski now we get out there to the Gulf. So in, in you know we're around the Gulf of Mexico. So we get out there, and we're you know we're going, and of course like during a certain area from the beach to the Gulf is like you can't go past a certain speed. Well, once his parents get out there, they you know they take off or whatever, and they warned us. They were like, if you go past the buoys, you need to make sure that you are paying attention to everything. We're 15 year old boys. What? We didn't. We didn't hear that. What? Did you? We on a jet ski. We're going. You know what I mean? 
So once we get past the buoys, you know, I'm not even gonna hold you. I was riding bitch the whole time. I was on the back of the fucking jet ski. You know, the homie was driving because it was his, right? Whatever. This dude whoo, takes off, pew, and we're going, right? And we're just now. If you know me, right? I think I've said it in videos before. If I haven't, I'm gonna say it again. I am afraid, deathly afraid of sharks. One could argue I'm afraid of the ocean, right? I guess, what is that called, thalassophobia? You just, the ocean, as a human being, you don't belong in there, bro. Like everything down there is just, first of all, more vicious, faster than you, stronger than you. You're not, you're, it's not your natural habitat. You're in the water doing this dumb ass shit. We gotta hold our breath. That's how you know we don't belong in the ocean, right? So we're going zzzz, and now I'm like, oh fuck. Like I'm talking, <laughs> I'm in the jet ski. My booty is lifted up off the seat and I'm like, oh shit. So, you know, we're going boom, flying down. I remember looking around and I don't recognize anything. Mind you, I'm trying so hard not to fall off this fucking jet ski into the open abyss, right? This dude don't give a shit. He's just going, because he's having a blast. He's on a jet ski, right? We're looking around. I remember there was one point where we were in between all of these like random shops, right? So we're not too far out just yet, but we still don't wreck. I'm like, where the hell are we, bro? We gotta find our way back, at least kind of close, and then we can mess around out there. I don't give a damn. At that point, just don't leave me stranded out there to get eaten by a shark. Foreshadowing. But we just need to get closer, right? Kind of leave that little area with all the shops and stuff, and it looked like it was like a dock where you can get off. It, not John's Pass, but like something, if you're from Florida, you, you know John's Pass, but it wasn't John's Pass. It was this weird area. I still to this day don't know where the hell we were. Anyway, we get out of there, and we're going again, and we're trying to find our way back. And we, we go so far, y'all, we go so far out that we don't see buildings or land in sight. This was when shit got real. And I knew shit was real because I looked at him and he was fu uh, um, uh, and we're just sitting in the middle of the freaking golf on a jet ski, right? So I'm like, yo, hey, I don't give a damn what we do. We need to figure out how to get back home, right? It turned from fun to horror fast. So we finally, you know, he's like, all right, I think I see where we're supposed to go. So I'm like, all right, so I'm looking out that way too. And we just haul, we maxed that thing out. I think we were going 30, 40 miles per hour. And all of a sudden, like bro, anything that could have happened did, right? So right the jet ski just stops and we're just floating we're like what yo what the hell turns out somehow some way there was seaweed caught up in the damn shit the exhaust or whatever so we had to choke it we're still we're doing i think we were choking the 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 was it the motor i'm not too jet ski savvy y'all and i that was, listen i've only been on a jet ski maybe one or two other times since then Mm -mm. So we choke it. We're doing that shit for like 20 minutes. Finally, we get the thing up and running again. And now we're just like, all right, we gotta go. Flying again. <laughs> Y'all. We run up on a sandbar. Basically crash land on a sandbar, right? So we're standing out there, the jet ski's not moving, right? And we can't get it off, it's pretty heavy, we're 15. Back then, you know, we wasn't, we wasn't like this back then, right? We were a lot smaller and a lot younger and a lot dumber, obviously. So we, you know, we're stranded out there and like now, like you can, so the sandbar was here and there was a point where you could kind of get like here, right? But if you step any deeper, you're down there, fam. So, um, so we're out there, we're stranded, we're kind of standing there, we have this dumbass jet ski, we're trying to, I, my dumbass, I think we're, we gotta choke it again. So I'm hitting it, nothing's happening. Uh, uh, he 
he turns to me and he goes, all right, I don't think that's what it is. I think we might have messed this thing up because we hit this sandbar pretty hard. My groin was hurting, no pause. And you know, everything like that, we hit it hard, y'all. So we're out there for another 45 minutes, just out in the hot blazing sun for 45 more minutes about, right? The only reason I know that's because I had a watch on. I had one of them Locasio watches. And um, I was like, damn, we've been out here for a minute. So finally we see this big ass, like, look like a, like a, like a pirate ship, but we live in, we live in the St. Pete, Tampa area, right? Gasparill is a big thing. This was during the summer though, but it was this big ass pirate looking ship that was coming by and they must've noticed us. So they, it looked like they were turning towards us from out here. They were doing this shit right here, right? So this guy, my boy, starts walking. Hey, he's trying to fly him now. Hey, hey. And I'm watching him go, like, go out there. And all of a sudden, fam. Get back to the fucking, get back. Get back to the damn jet ski, get back. Huh? Yo, it was like in a movie, you know, And he's, the, the thing started thrashing. And the people on the boat are screaming, yo, yo, right? So he's like, oh shit, dives to the sandbar, goosh. And then the thing thrashed and floated off. Both of us get back on the jet ski. We're both like, oh shit. Fam, I, I, man, I ain't never, I think I shit myself. I think I did. But after that shark encounter, um, we're standing up on the thing. They they come up with the boat and they throw down an anchor and then they throw down a line. So we wrap the line up on the jet ski and we're both on top of it. They kind of pull the anchor back up and they kind of pull us out off of the, the sandbar. Sorry, excuse me. Once we get off the sandbar, he's and it starts up. What the fuck, bro? So we follow the boat kind of closer to, cause it looked like they were going past where we were from. So we're following it, right? And we're going like at a decent pace. This was when the cool stuff started to happen, right? So this is how you know we were out of trouble. So we're going, but my, I'm traumatized at this point. I almost saw my boy get eaten by a shark. And then on top of that, what you think the shark was gonna do, right? You think the shark was gonna eat him and then be like, huh? I'm famished. No, he was gonna come after my dumb ass, right? We're riding the jet ski, following the boat, and then there's dolphins that are swimming near us. Like, this is no bullshit. I promise you, I wish I was lying. There's dolphins swimming near us. Like, you know how they play? But, I look over, I thought, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was back, ready for, you know, ready for his meal. He was like, what, y'all think it was getting away? No. Right? So once we once I calm down and I'm like, okay, they're dolphins. Like they they mean us no harm. Dolphins are some of the coolest animals in the sea. There's no, they're not all bad. All the animals in the ocean or the gulf or the sea are not bad, right? Not all of them. But you do have sharks, obviously. And it was a bull shark, by the way. I, I, we ended up finding out later that it was a bull shark, which bull sharks have a high level of testosterone, meaning they're very aggressive, meaning they will try to eat you. I don't give a damn, right? Anyway, follow the thing back. The moment, the moment we saw land, right? And we saw kind of cause because the way the beaches are, are set up, they come around like this, right? So you're looking at like a Madeira, Reddington, Indian Rocks, Indian Shores type deal. So you had to come around, we had to go around all of the condos, all of the beaches, and come all the way back to where we were at. We as soon as we saw the buildings and shit. He's going, I'm like, go! And I'm holding on like this and we're. And I'm like, bro, the only thing I care about at this point is one, getting back to land and two, not falling off this damn jet ski. Hopefully he don't flip it and we are, we get home safe. I'm, listen, I'm black, right? But I was sunburned. Boy, I was about the same color as this right here. I was dark. He was sunburned. We were just going, boom, boom, boom. The jet ski was. 
It was pandemonium. It was crazy. So finally we see land, right? And we get there. Once we hit the shore, right? Both of us jump off and just sprawl out on the sand, right? Remember we had our friends or whatever there. And we did have these two, we had these dudes like I said, these these the girls and there was a couple other dudes. They were, they were from New York. And we had these guys from Ohio that apparently liked these girls, but didn't like that these girls were hanging out with us. And we didn't really want nothing to do with them like that. But still, like these dudes were some haters, bro. Right? So um, they were always plotting on our downfall. So the moment, like we were gone for a long time, and these dudes swooped in and. Now they're hanging out with these girls. Obviously, they're more romantically hanging out with them than we were, but like they they don't now they're territorial, right? So we got back. We had some Gatorades in our hands. Once we finally rested and chilled, we went to go look for them to go kick it, right? And these dudes are there. Like, you ain't hanging, man. That's messed up. You hang out with them, you can forget about us. Blah 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 blah. And we're like, bro, like it's really not like that serious. It's really not that serious, like. We just, you know, we can all hang out. No, fuck that. We don't want to. Damn. Damn, we finna tell y'all the story about what just happened to us, but y'all being haters like that? That was probably one of my first or second times having like an open hater like in my face. But anyway, yeah. So that's the story about how we got stranded in the Gulf and almost freaking got eaten by a damn shark. I tell you what, man. Hey guys. I had a blast telling that story. If you really like that, um, please go ahead and give me a like. I'm going to try to do a little bit more story times. I'm having fun doing stuff like that. Um, mind you, uh, Legendary Legs will be back on soon. I just needed to, we, you know, I went on a vacation. I'm coming back, you know, and I thought about doing story times. So I will be putting back together Legendary Legs for you guys. Episode three coming soon. Um, but anyway, thanks for listening to this story. If you're new here, please subscribe and I'll fuck with y'all the long way.